This week I set out to make a contemporary half-circle bench, copying the design of Louis Lim or Louis Lim. This project kicked my butt in a number of ways, mostly the math, and I'm hoping you guys can help me because I've got to make two more of these, and I just could not figure it out. But the end result, although it doesn't look like exactly what I was going for, is still a decent looking bench and it was pretty cheap to make. I tried making a prototype out of paper and cardboard and I think it works, I think my math is correct, but it's just so hard to tell with the wavy paper. I spray painted a little scale model here just to see the size it might end up. I bought uh, six sheets of this bendy plywood, which is incredible stuff. It was only 35 bucks a sheet. Okay, I've got all my triangles cut. Now I'm going to lay out the top. I'm just gonna use some fishing line, measure four feet up, and then draw my half circle. This fishing line is a little too stretchy, so I'm gonna use a piece of wood. That's much better. I like this shape, it's really nice. It is a little tippy if you push back here. But if you add just another leg in the middle there, it takes a lot of that out. Are you going down? Yeah. Uh, it's still too harsh, I don't get it. Okay, I think I've got it figured out. On one of my calculations, I got 145 inch radius. And that was so far outside of all of my other calculations that I just kind of discounted it. Turns out that's the right one. So what I need to do is attach my string here and follow all the way, 145 inches, all the way to out here. And that will give me just the slightest curve to cut. And I think that's what I need. Oh, I think it's off. I don't get it. Okay, I've got it kind of just chopped and split together, but it's making it all the way around to the halfway mark. So I'm gonna use this as a template and try that out. Okay, fifth or sixth time is the charm. All right now. I think we may have done it. Look at this stuff. That is some flexible plywood. There goes nothing. All right, outside is on. It actually doesn't look half bad. And then there's a pretty good gap in here, but I'm gonna put a piece of trim all the way around. Here it is with the trim, already looking much better. I think once you get the top on, you'll never know that it's completely screwed up. Okay, quick progress report. Got the top on. I got the trim done. It's coming along. Still not perfect, but I think it's presentable. All right, here it is before stain. There it is after the top stain. There's the two-tone, which I ended up not really liking. So I just did the same stain all the way around on the back side. And I'm happy with that. And here it is. This is the finished product that I ended up with. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it is still pretty cool. So I'm gonna continue and make two more. It sits six people comfortably, so it does that job well. It doesn't tip over, so that's a plus. And the next ones will be even cheaper because I already have my templates made so that that way I can squeeze more than two into each piece of wood. So I wanted something very contemporary and I ended up with something more outdoor furniture, like kind of decky, but they're still pretty cool. Let me know in the comments if you can figure out the math so that when I do these next two, they'll be perfect and I won't have to do so much sanding. I'll see you next week, bye.